OS1 versus OS2. OS1 had its inception in 2002 and was written around the two glasses available at the time, being G652A and G652B. In 2006, OS2 was born. It was written around the premise that the low water peak wavelengths around 1383 nanometers was required to have an attenuation of less than 0.4 decibels over one kilometer for use in CWDM. This was achieved by the origination of G652C and G652D glasses. These glasses also fell under the OS1 standard. Now, let me state firstly that OS1 and OS2 are cabled standards, not glass-only standards. What is meant by cabled standards is that OS1 uses tight buffered cables, anything that has a 900 micron tight buffered coating effectively. This is indoor fiber optic cable, indoor outdoor fiber optic cable, patch cables, and pigtails. OS2 is a loose tube fiber optic cable standard, which means it is loose inside a tube and is free to move around. Indoor-outdoor cable is made of a tight buffered construction and any tight buffered constructed cable cannot technically achieve the OS2 specification due to the additional stresses that are actually placed on the glass during the cable manufacturing process itself, which makes it difficult to adhere to the low attenuation budgets of 0.4 decibel per kilometer that OS2 requires. The loose tube manufacturing process is softer on the glass, thereby making it more reliable to adhere to the OS2 specification for distances greater than 5,000 meters. There's a common thought that just because we have progressed from OM1 to OM3 to OM4 in the multi-mode arena, with each being more advanced than the one before it, that the same should apply to the single mode equivalents. However, OS1 sits over the top of OS2 as it is a subset of the OS1 standard. As patch leads use the same manufacturing process as indoor-outdoor cable, it is a tight buffered cable construction, they cannot be considered as an OS2 product, but are an OS1 product. And to be honest with you, the confusion could be removed simply by the recommendation that the cable used must contain G652D glass. Whether it's an OS1 or OS2 is then purely semantics.